And for viewers today, a poem by Chew Dog. There have been only two months in the last two years where CPI has registered less than expected. CPI has risen for 14 straight months, and Biden has been president for the last 16. Additionally, sentiment among Americans collapsed to a record low, and inflation expectations surged. And so, stocks got crushed. The CPI report on Friday was one for the ages. Headline CPI prices surged by about 1% month over month. Energy prices spiked 3.9% month over month as gasoline prices reached record levels and food prices increased 1.2%. And year over year CPI made a new 40 year high of 8.6%. And so, stocks got crushed. Looking at the CPI basket, only two segments showed they are cheaper than a year ago and that would be food at an employee site or a school and education and communication commodities I told my wife that date night is now only going to be at an employee site or a school and so stocks got crushed what this means is that we will likely get that 50 basis point move in June and a 50 basis point move in July as for the pause in September nope we're going to get another 50 basis point hike then as well. And so, stocks got crushed. And the title of the poem is, It's Not Really a Poem. And two charts today, beginning here with a two-year weekly chart on the volatility index, also called the fear gauge, and they call it a fear gauge for a reason. And as you can see in the upper left, the symbol is dollar sign VIX using stockcharts.com. And as I've said, watch this chart. We have a nice dish moving on down here. We bottomed out in this, say, June, July period, and then up we went. As you can see, these lows are higher. It's stepping on up. The probability, in my humble opinion, is another step up. At least, that's what the setup looks at this point. In the upper portion of the chart, you can see the RSI. Definitely, here at 53.48, it's above that mid or 50 line, and it doesn't look like it wants to go down. If it does come down and calms down, then that's good for the market, at least in the short term. But it appears that it's got some strength. It wants to hang up there and move up. And as you know, when the VIX moves up, the stock market heads down. In this lower portion of the chart, you can see the MACD. Same thing as well. This is above the zero line. There's strength. And this dip that the fast line is making maybe just barely below the slow line but that dip is very shallow and that again in my opinion is the probability of a move heading on up so keep your eyes on that stack some cash now let's go to our charts now we're looking at our charts sticking with the two year weekly chart the spiders the SPY closed on Friday at 389.80 now what we've been talking about the last several weeks is this downward channel with the bottom trend line through here and the top trend line through there. So it looks like we have more downside say perhaps to 375 and I think that's what the VIX is also indicating that we have a bottom and basing in the VIX with an upward move in the VIX which means a downward move in the stock market heading down here the one good sign that I see is in volume where the volume is declining that's been declining while we've been moving through this downward trend line and so sooner or later we're gonna run out of sellers but not quite yet into the Mac you can see that this continues to be weak we're at the negative 10 level now we got this reflection at this point here and we're heading on down so that's going to accelerate perhaps into next week and maybe through perhaps when the Fed announces any rate hikes or perhaps beyond we just have to keep watching this now 
into the histogram, you can see we've had a couple of bottom and basing attempts and they've gotten failed here. This is the third failure at this point. So we need to watch this to see how far down this goes. If it continues further than say negative five into negative six or below, but we won't know for a week or so into the price rate of change. You can see that this is a very long term bottoming and basing here. It's taking a while. So things are weak. We're down here at negative 50. So don't look for any snapbacks, any real meaningful snapbacks anytime soon. Here into the RSI, again, a moderately weak 32.10. We're deep. We're going to uh, perhaps head back down here to see if we can get into that oversold territory. We didn't get there here, so we might bounce off of that 20 line sometime in the near future. Next week, maybe the week after. Watch that. Stochastics looks like it's had a number of attempts to bottom and base. Here's one more. I think the third may be the charm, but I'm not going to bet on it right now. I'm sitting on my cash. I've been stacking for a while. I haven't bought anything yet. I'm still waiting. Move here into the Williams. Once again, very long term bottoming and basing. And this is rather painful depending upon your circumstances. Now, you and I may look at that at being painful, but hopefully we're not suffering the pain. Hopefully we've got enough cash to take advantage of the opportunities that are coming up. I've shown you a few stocks. More will be coming soon in the growth area and in the value stock area. I'm looking at REITs right now. We looked at store capital before and I have some other picks coming up here in the near future. For now, continue to watch this channel line moving on down. Look for some better bottoming and basing in the oscillators. Right now, I don't see anything that I would conclusively say is a bottom and a basing. So save your cash. Opportunities are on their way. And for today, that's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.